actually wanted that head first. Oh my! The bite's on, Bridge. On him. Oh god. What do we got going on here? What's going on here is we're drinking some ghost blue raspberry and this is gonna make us crack to catch some fish today. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. And this is where we are gonna start today's video. I am up here in the North Woods with some good buddies and we are staying up here for the next couple days. And I figure why not take out the camera and just film it for you guys. I do a terrible job of filming. As you probably have noticed, I have not uploaded a video for about a month. And also you didn't see a video from opener. I'll explain why you didn't see a video from opener later in this video, but I just wanted to pull out the camera now because it is the start of our day. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'll show you the gentleman that I am with. So of course, this guy I film with all spring long, Cody S. You guys don't know him. I film about all my videos with him, it seems like. Fellow Wisconsin angler, YouTuber fishing guide anything else what am i forgetting um sims hat wear bubbler connoisseur waterland pro staff pan to the left we got the other guy that's always on the channel yep john um, layman from mendeck outdoors i'm just the scrub that's like my description scrub part-time wisconsinite and then full-time scrub and then he's trying to hide but we got my buddy bridge who's also been on the channel quite a bit oh yeah oh yeah kind of a beauty well, those are the guys I'm with. Real quick, before we get going for the day, let me just go and show you guys this beautiful cabin that we rented. Well, that I should say John rented. Go inside here real quick. Give you guys a rundown. This thing is nice. So we go over here. We got a bedroom. Nice, beautiful, big bedroom. Go over here. Bathroom. We got the master here. Um, obviously you can tell the bed is not made because we did sleep here last night, but check out this view. We are lakeside. Absolutely gorgeous. We're not going to be fishing this lake. Well, not today at least, but maybe we'll dabble and go down there and check it out. But we keep doing this little tour. We got the kitchen. Nice, beautiful. Living room, little sitting area. Keep going down this way. Go all the way down these stairs. We've got another living quarter, TV, couch, microwave, coffee maker, ping pong table. I uh, believe this is another room here, another room. And then we got, you know, a jacuzzi, another bathroom right there. Yeah, I think it was about three days ago and we're like, hey guys, we have like five days off. Um, we're going up north. We knew we were going up north, but had nowhere to stay. So John, you know, being the guy that he is, Found this, fairly cheap actually. I think it was like only a hundred bucks a night. And uh, yeah, I booked it right away. I will tell you guys, we are in Monaco, Wisconsin. Um, so pretty much stomping grounds. I do a lot of fishing around this area. I know you guys ask me where I fish and I never tell you, but we are in Monaco right now. I think all the guys are out there. They're getting ready to leave. So probably gonna put the camera away for just a little bit. Um, we are gonna be trying lake number one. We're gonna be hopping lakes throughout the next couple days here. And like I said, I just want to pull up the camera, pick it up, try to film it as best as I can for you guys. We're going for walleyes. Everything's post-spawn pretty much. We did catch a few pre-spawners yesterday. Bite should be really good. So get out there, drive to the lake and start hopefully pounding some fish. Right on. All right, you guys. Well, we have made it to the point where we are out on the water, just launched, and it is freaking gorgeous. Unlike yesterday, um, the conditions changed a little bit, not too much, but today we got overcast. Yesterday we had bluebird skies, so the bite didn't really pick up until the afternoon. Um, tonight though, should be what? Well, should be more of an all-day bite. We're hoping. We didn't get out here until like five or six last night, anyways. Um, and right now it is, I think, like noon. Or 11. I don't actually know what time it is, but it's sometime a lot earlier than when we came out yesterday. Overcast, these fish should be shallow because they're spawning. So yeah, we got probably, I don't know, a mile or two run to the first spot. I'm gonna go ahead, get the GoPros out, 
and yeah we're just gonna start fishing I think it's gonna be pretty simple today we're gonna probably throw two techniques plastics and jerk baits um, that's just kind of what works out here the best for us might experiment with some other stuff if that's not working but for sure start out with those two so I'm gonna go ahead uh, lower the motor down and we're gonna run to the first spot and see if we can get hooked up So, I pull up to the first spot. Cody and John are in Cody's boat, straight up ahead of us. You guys can't see that, but they are like, I don't know, 50 yards in front of us. What we're gonna be doing here is working a very steep shoreline and it drops off. We're probably, I don't know, 30 yards from shore and we're already in 24 feet of water. So, really sharp breaks and those fish are just kind of right up on that. We got the wind kind of blowing along the whole side of this. What we're gonna be throwing, like I said in the intro, we're going to be starting with the Vision 110. Now, last year we found out that this is like, this is the meta out here. Um, I can't speak for all lakes, but the Vision 110 definitely been a pretty good ticket since we've been out here. Um, we threw hit sticks, husky jerks, P10s, pretty much any other jerk bait that you can think of. And last year we had it where John was in the boat with Bridge and I, and he outfished us like four to one. So starting the day off with the Vision 110, casting like foot offshore, working it out deep and hopefully crushing some walleyes. Let's go. What do we got here? Hopefully they're cheeky. Oh yeah. Oh no, it is Walter. Walter. Yeah, little Wally. Hey, first one of the day. Just got a little guy here. Going on a, uh, just jigging a paddle tail. Gotta start somewhere. That's right. I think it, it drops too fast for a jerk bait. I know, that's, that's why I was like, I don't know, I think I'm gonna stick with this. I'm actually gonna do the same. Just let it drop and take it back. It's like classic. Hey. Hey. Really? Let's go, baby! Oh my god, we're on him. This one's a little bit better, it feels like. Maybe it's about the same. Oh god, you're cracked. That's about the same. Another little guy again. You're back. There's one. I didn't even do anything. I, just, I felt like I just cast that, picked it up, started reeling, and then it was on. Look at that one next to it. There's three of them. Do you see that? Yep. There's three walleyes chasing this one. All right, so Bridge and I just switched locations, went all the way across the lake actually to like. I wouldn't say an in like a mid lake hump, but it's off the shoreline as you can tell, and it's a little rock bar hump that comes up to about six seven feet. And uh, I ice fished this spot actually and found some gravel on it. First cast with the jig and plastic, the tickle tail, actually hooked up without the GoPro on, and then that one, that one uh, was just on. And then there was three more chasing it all the way up to the boat. I've never seen that. I've seen it with smallmouth, but never walleye. But first one on camera for me. I'm gonna go ahead and get them back. We got actually some good wind blowing into this, which the other spots um, where Bridge caught them, uh, there was like no wind on. So I think this could be a high percentage area. We just gotta work it a little more and see what happens. But they're definitely here. I've seen them with my eyes. So keep casting the plastic and see what happens. So guys, real quick, I wanna take a moment, talk to you guys about the setup that I am using. So as always, I'm using a Carbon X from PC Fun. I've been using these reels for the last couple years and they're fantastic for affordable price. But this year, this is a little different. So 
You guys saw probably all of my recent videos. I've been using PC Fun rods as well. So this year we're actually using a custom rod. Um, this is actually made by a guy. Um, it's in Ringo, Wisconsin. Um, so if you guys are familiar with that, it's next to the Wassa area. And I'm from Wassa, so decided to check it out. Send me a message, went over there. Been talking to this guy for the last couple months. And yeah, we're using custom rods. This is US made blank. This is Kate Outdoors Carbon Core Walleye Series. This is a 7.2 mag light, he calls this. So um, it's not exactly a medium light. It's a little bit lighter. Um, so you get a little more finesse out of it. Um, right now I'm not using like a super heavy profile. So in these type of conditions, it's great. You can feel every bite, um, but still have enough backbone to catch the fish, obviously. So hopefully I can showcase that off. But if you guys are interested in checking out, um, I will leave a link to his company down in the description. It'd mean a lot, go down there, check it out, just see what he offers. But these are gonna be the new uh, rods for the year. And I'm really excited to test them out. Get this bait back out there and hopefully get clapped there are a lot of walleyes obviously when you got them chasing to the boat they are around so hopefully it won't be too long and we just get rehooked up there's one it's all right uh, it might be about the same size. We will see. I bond that out there though again. Is that a bass? Yeah, it's just a largey. A largey? Wow, second fish. A largemouth bass. Not what I was expecting. Speaking of largemouth bass, this would actually be a great time to tell you guys about our Wisconsin fishing opener. Now, as you know, that was last weekend. And uh, we were out at midnight and it started downpouring. So that was a great start to the trip. Slept in the truck, got out there the next day. My dad joined us, it was Brandon and I. And we fished all day and didn't see a single walleye. At night we did see a bunch of walleye spawning, but during the day they were non-existent. I think it was just in the middle of the spawn and they were not eating. But what brings me to the largemouth is the only thing that was worth a damn about the whole day was the fact that my dad caught like a six and a half pound largemouth and then I also caught one that was like over five pounds. Um, I'll pop up some pictures of them so you can see proof. Um, I know I'm kind of flexing largemouth. Meanwhile, there's a helicopter, which is really loud, going over the top of us. But yes, that was the highlight of our Wisconsin fishing opener. Two giant largemouth, um, a couple pike, but zero walleyes, so that's why you guys didn't see a video. Just caught a largemouth there. There's fish all over this. We just gotta get the right ones and the right bites. Hammered. This one feels better. Another lean, mean male walleye. Probably, I don't know, 18, 19 inches. Nothing too big, but beautiful northern Wisconsin walleye. I am so thankful to be back up here in the Northwoods. As much as I love the Fox River and the bay and all that, and all the size that you can catch out there, something about being the only boat on a lake up here just hammering walleyes is just where it's at. This is just where I want to fish so really happy that we're able to get back on these lakes they're open we're catching fish we keep having to move around this hump a little bit but it seems like every time we move the first cast after we move we catch a fish so i don't know if we got to keep doing that that's the way it's going to be but they're hammering the plastic and i'm loving it oh bet look at these spot stealers were you doing good how many? Probably 12 pike. 17. Well, Cody and John just pulled up. Uh, Cody is unfortunately going to be leaving here in the next like 45 minutes. So, unfortunately, just kidding, not unfortunately, but John's going to be jumping in the boat here uh, briefly once he leaves. He is going to be staying the whole weekend with us. So we're going to have three deep in the Lund. Uh, hopefully he's going to take his knowledge because they've caught more fish than us today. 
and uh, show us where the juice is. We've been on them, but nothing like too crazy. Still got a lot of fishing, a lot of daylight left, and the bite's just gonna get better as the day goes on. I know as soon as that sun starts to go down, we got a spot, a little jerkbait bite, that's definitely uh, gonna be pretty good, so I can't wait to film that, but yeah, otherwise we're just gonna keep on working these shorelines and picking them off with plastics. I have like no, you at least have some like, like insulation right there. Yeah. Oh my. On the plastic. Oh yeah. Hammered it. That's nice. Nope. Come here, you little. Oh god, that water's warm. Well, first cast at the OG spot. That one definitely wanted it. These guys are throwing jerk baits. I'm for some reason still throwing the plastic. But hey, crushed it. Just another nice male. Nothing big yet for me. But like I said earlier, this bite's just gonna keep on getting better. As the night goes, we're probably gonna just be working the shoreline the rest of the day. Cause to the right of us is like this really nice shallow rocky bar that uh, a lot of the fish come up to at night so this is the only one left yeah wow hammered what am i doing bro? i just don't i don't know if i'm feeling a blue rag you know? fight pretty good absolutely annihilated the plastic all of a sudden there's just like a school of walleyes that moved in to the shallows i think that's like i don't know five in a row or something like that mm -hmm. and they're like hammering this thing oh that's good <laughs> i just cast it over your bridge are they just all up the shoreline I think you answered your own question. Yep, I think so too. They are indeed just all up this shoreline. Unreal. Plastic bite's kind of hot, actually. Really skinny male there. Fun fight though. Yep. You know you're making money if. Like federal? Oh my god. Cranked? <laughs> yeah. Federal? What? I got like a hundred dollars. See, I feel like the size is getting better. Yeah. Dang, you guys might have to put on plastics. That's Dude. Literally what like they're crushing it. Oh man, look at that one. That's a nicer one. Biggest one of the day. Bite is definitely heating up for sure. That plastic bite has just gotten phenomenal. I think I've caught like 10 in the last, I don't know, 30 minutes probably. And they're like absolutely choking it. I love it. Hey, come, come get your tip up. Come get your tip up. It's been up for like 10 minutes. Oh, that one just murked it on the pause, bro. That was dope. He wanted that head first. Yeah. The fight's back on. Oh my, wow, the bite's on, Bridge. Oh, this is better. On him. <laughs> you did not just say on him. <laughs> Hey, hey, cut that thing, Bridge! Cut that thing! He, had two, he caught one and then he had another one on. That one hammered it. Come on, let me double. See, that's on like a... Almost that second... Yeah, first, second... Oh, second yeah, I was that's just second out there. Oh, just another walleye. Another beautiful northern Wisconsin walleye. I don't know how many I've caught at this point in the day, but it's been quite a few. Flex! 
Max, Max. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's almost about the time. We probably got like still half an hour before it really gets good. But now I'm going to take off the jigging plastic, throw them back on the Vision 110 that I started the day off with. John's already got it on. And yeah, we're going to be just casting like the spot. I don't know if they're quite in yet, but like I said, in the next like half an hour, 45 minutes, they're going to be uh, hopefully loaded and the bite is going to get pretty stupid. So I'm going to run this back GoPro and uh, yeah, hopefully just see us all hook up. I have like memories of last year john and i doing this and i put the gopro away and we annihilated them for like a half an hour straight every cast and uh yeah so this time i'm not making that mistake keeping the gopro out and like i said hopefully getting a pile of fish oh, oh that damn. hammered it no, got is it. that is that what I think that is? Wait, is that Smalley? Hey! <laughs> I've been waiting all day for you. You actually have. <laughs> no wonder it destroyed it. Yeah, that's why he's all weird. I know this sounds stupid, but I've been waiting all day to catch one of these. I don't know why, probably because I've already caught 30 walleyes, but surprisingly, fishing rocks all day with a jerkbait, you'd think you'd pick off more smallies, but first smallie of the trip, not a giant, but nice healthy one. Still no walleyes, but they'll be in soon. I, you know, I wouldn't even know what to do. But you would do it though, right? Oh, absolutely. I would never <laughs> say, I would never say no. I wouldn't know what to do, but you just, absolutely. Ooh, is that shallow, Nick? That was shallow. Damn, Country boy, like farmer type guy looking. Yeah. Oh, that. That's this? Hammered it, yeah. Feels heavy. We'll take that. Oh, that's a that's little a bit of a gut right there. It's a female. Yeah. It's eight o'clock now. We've been saying it should be starting for the last hour, but this is proof that it actually might be starting. <laughs> that wouldn't crush me. I thought it was a little bigger, but still fun. That one was a female, and we haven't really seen many of those. Bridge just caught one, but otherwise during the day, it's all been males. Good child. Yeah. It definitely is. It's not like tiny, tiny. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's another female. Yep. Correct. Yep. John's on back to back cast. <sighs> Females. Bridge, your turn. It's starting. Walleye after walleye. Wow, you just don't get many nights like this out on the lake. Absolutely insane. It has been flat calm for the last like four hours of the day. 
And I never thought we'd actually get to this point in the day because it's been like the same lightness for hours. But we are finally at sunset and I don't know, I didn't do like a great job of filming, but uh, we didn't really get into them like exactly how I thought. Um, I was judging everything off of last year. We did still catch a couple fish. Bridge caught a couple, John caught a couple, I caught a couple, all females. Um, so that was cool, but it wasn't as hot and heavy. Um, last year we did have wind blowing into this spot and this year, like I said, obviously flat calm. So yeah, this is probably where I'm gonna put all the cameras away. Um, just because it is going to get dark here in the next 20 minutes and I do have to get lights on my boat so probably going to be doing that I will pull out the camera though just in case something crazy happens like I don't know say bridge catches a 29 incher I'll pull out the camera and show you guys but for right now put it away we're probably going to stay out here and fish a little bit longer head back in get some food and yeah call her a night so next time I will see you it will either be with a big fish or I will see you guys back at the cabin All right, guys. Oh. Are you on? Yep. Hey, my son Bridge is on. Oh. Wow. That one right in there. <laughs> right on, Bridge. Well, picked up the camera because the bite has just turned on. Usually when it gets dark, it kind of like simmers out a little bit. But Bridge just caught one. I just caught a giant pre-spawn northern Wisconsin walleye not incredibly long probably still like a 26 for sure but pre-spawn still has all the eggs in it so not gonna have it all too long let her do her thing but unreal to be this late in the season and to still catch big pre-spawners like that insane been waiting for this fish all day i know this lake it holds it and it has my pb at 29 and three quarters so i know they're in here but nice fish probably grab a few pictures and send her back to do her thing dang really 25 and three quarters only wow i think i'm just more so surprised with how fat she is insane i really thought that, well i guess i said 26 so i'm a half inch off but still beautiful northern wisconsin fish get her back to do her thing they are definitely like mid spawn right now That's super clear water. That is awesome. After a very long day of fishing, we are back at the crib. It is, what time is it? 12.15. It's a pretty late one. I think we got to the water, was that noon, one o'clock? Something like that. Uh, so we put in put in the hours for sure today and let me tell you it was worth it There was a lot I didn't film and probably a lot I didn't put in this video because we probably as a group We had to have caught over 50 walleyes and what I didn't film so after I caught that big one um, we actually fished for like another two hours and I think I had like two or three other ones that we're over that 25 inch range and had a couple other ones on, a couple other ones that we saw. Uh, so the bigger fish were definitely out, um, but pretty much everything we had for lights died. So that kind of shut that down. But right now overlay, just a picture of one of the other bigger ones that I did catch tonight that was, you know, that 26 inch range. So real nice fish. This is where we're gonna end today's video though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I tried to film like most of the day and try to just make it like a full day video instead of just a short little 10 minute video like we normally do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We are up here for the next three days. I do believe Brandon is gonna be joining us tomorrow as soon as he's done with work. So that's pretty exciting. So we're gonna be going four deep in the Lund. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below what you guys want to see going forward here we are still in may but if you guys watch the channel for a while or you just scroll back the last couple months you know that this time of the year the videos start to go down and that's not because we aren't out there doing anything in the outdoors it's just the fact that we don't know what to film i know we've dabbled with some camping um, some walleye fishing and stuff like that throughout the summer but if you guys have any, any suggestions please let me know down in the comment section below right now we're going to uh cook all these fresh delicious pizzas from quick trip yes, because we are absolutely starving let's go 
That's pretty much it. And then after that, it's straight to bed and we're gonna repeat it again tomorrow. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from MB Edits.